Sanctum Mysteries, starring Ann Seymour and Myron McCormick. friends. Welcome. Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. This is Raymond, your host, teller of strange tales. Come in, if you dare. Now, before we begin, a word to those of you who don't frighten easily. It'll be no disgrace if before we're finished you find yourself trembling against your will. Inner Sanctum Mysteries takes great pleasure in presenting two of America's best-known and best-loved radio artists, Miss Anne Seymour and Mr. Myron McCormick. Tonight, these two favorites of the air lanes co-star in The Man from Yesterday, an original radio mystery drama by Milton Geiger. Do you like to have your hair stand on end? Do you like to feel your blood run cold? Mm. <laughs> of course you do. Come along with me, then, to the jungle. Still and hot. Weirdly yellow in the strange light of the tropic moon. In a clearing, the African natives of Dr. Robert Rand's museum party sway to the slow throb of their drums. A few hundred yards off in the thick bush... A monstrous humpbacked shape drops silently from the trees, moves swiftly across the shadowed jungle floor. Suddenly the earth gives way under the dark, crouching monster's feet. He struggles wildly a moment and falls, disappearing into the earth. Bana! Bana run! Quick! Come quick! Ngagi! Come quick! Eh? What, uh, what's up, Sangala? Is something wrong, Sangala? Bana, you come fast. Bring big gun. Oh, what is it? Ngagi! Gorilla? Where? Old man, gorilla. He fall in trap. Oh, you shouldn't go, Bob. You're fever. Where is he? Where is the gorilla? Sangala, show you. Bring big gun. You follow me. down there, Bob? Can I see him? What a fellow. What a prize he'd be for Professor Converse at the museum. A full-grown gorilla. Ruth, we've got to get this fellow home, alive. Oh, Bob, it's dangerous. You're ill. Must you? Converse would never forgive me if I didn't. Bob. What is it? The gorilla has made a sound for some time now. That's right. Turn the flashlight down there, will you, Ruth? That's very strange. Is he hurt? No. But look at him. See how he stares up at me. Yes. And such steady, knowing, intelligent eyes. Almost human. Yes. Gazing so steadily into my own. Unflinching. Unafraid. And puzzled. As though he's seen me before. As though he recognizes me. And is trying to remember me from somewhere. Sometime. as it comes down the deck level. Turn me up. All right. Lower away. Easy. Easy then. All right. All right. Good. Good. That does it, man. Now cast away the lowering chains and begin closing the hatch. Turn it right up. All right. I'm tired, Bob. A little. But it's a relief to have Engadji safely stowed away down here. Engadji. It's a musical name, isn't it? means gorilla. 
Well, nothing to do but keep him safe in his cage, keep him from catching cold, and feed him wild carrots and parsley. Ah. If it were for anyone but Professor Converse, I'd chuck it all right now. Sorry, I started it. I... I don't like him, Gadgie. Oh, he's a gentleman and a scholar. Now don't talk playful nonsense about him, Ruth. He's a killer. He is not. I happen to know. What do you mean you happen to know? Have you been around his cage again lately? Well, I've been teaching him a few simple tricks, if that's what you mean. What do you call a simple trick? Well, for example, shaking hands with a lady. Ruth, you haven't. I have, and is my arm torn from its socket? It is not. Ruth, don't you understand? You can't make friends with a gorilla. You can't compromise with the jungle. And Gadji is clever and he's dangerous. He'll watch with those beady little eyes of his. He'll wait with that tricky little brain of his. Until his time comes. Now, don't give him his chance, Ruth. Oh, you're not well, Bob. And so you magnify the dangers and the menace of the jungle and all that bookish stuff. All out of proportion to... Well, what... What's the matter? Look at him. He's been watching me all the time. See how he stares at me? Never batting an eye. Never moving a hair. Watching me. Matching my gaze, stare for stare. Oh, come out of it, Bob. Been like this from the moment we captured him. Ruth, that abysmal brute knows something. Darling, this stuffy ship's hold is getting you. Let's go and feed some quinine, huh? Very well. What do I do with Ngaji back home? That's Professor Converse's problem, and he's welcome. Up the ladder with you. Right. All right, men, batten it down. Bye-bye, Ngaji. So long, old man. Be good. Now, don't squeeze so hard. Hey, hey, Butch, take it easy. No, 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 mustn't pull. Stop pulling, do you hear? In Gaji. That's better. Now, let go of the lady's hand. That's it. <laughs> well, then, how about some exercise? Think you could walk around the hold here with a distinguished dame on your arm? Yeah, let's see how this chain and iron pin work on this door. <laughs> they think you can't be trained, but I know you can. <laughs> oh, this is easy. Oh, have this iron pin up in just a minute. Oh, just be patient, old fellow. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Well, better luck next time. Look down there, Ruth. Tell me, Bob. I was just having a word with Engadji. Well, hurry. We've got little old New York on our horizon, and I'm high glad. Very kind of you, Professor Converse, putting Ruth and me up at the museum like this. Let's go. The empty room. Start to want to keep an eye on that fever of yours, because you won't. <laughs> well, nevertheless, Professor, we won't impose on your hospitality a moment more than it takes us to get settled again here in America. Yeah. Here's another door. After you, Rand. Thank you. This old wing's out of use, but it still has electricity. And what's more important, heat. So the zoo can build proper quarters for Ngaji, we'd better keep him in here where the temperature is even. Hmm. I've been thinking, Professor. 
These oak doors wouldn't be any problem at all to Engadji if he happened to get on the loose. True, true. The door closing off this old wing from the new building is really made of iron. I see. So, unless your grill is of the armor-piercing variety, it's pretty safe. Here's next to the last door. This used to be a dinosaur room. A huge room. Well, here we are. Royal suite itself. <laughs> Ruth, what are you doing in here? I'm talking to Engadji. Hello, Professor. I shouldn't become too familiar with Engadji, Mrs. Rand. Oh, he's quite gentle. You know what he does now? He takes the rings off my fingers and then gives them back. Takes the rings off your fingers? Ruth, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, all right. You're rougher than a 500-pound ape. He's a real gentleman. Look at him. Look how he presses his face between the bars. To get a closer look at me. And it's been like that since... By George, I'll give him a good look at me. Don't get too close, Rand. Now, careful. Well, he doesn't know you well, Bob. Bob! There, you ugly brute. Take a look. Take a good long look. Uh, well, what do you see? Oh, no! All right, all right, he missed me. He could have shattered your skull with that blow, Rand. Well, it's only because he doesn't know you, Bob. He does know me. He looked into my face. And he saw something. What did he see? think he saw. Well, I'm no fortune teller. I'm only Raymond, your host here in the Inner Sanctum. But I can tell you he must have seen something. But what was it? That's the big question. All right. Do you still want to know what the man from yesterday saw when he looked into Rand's face? Uh, You'll be sorry, but you asked for it. So let's go into Engadji's cage with him now. As he listens to a strange, mysterious uh, voice. Uh, Engadji, Lord of the Jungle, do you hear me? Uh, uh, do you hear Engadji? Do you hear the jungle speak? Engadji, I am. I am the jungle. Jungle. You looked into the man creature's pale eyes. Do you remember now? Do you remember that other Ingaji a thousand million moons ago? Before the pale man creature walked here? Man. Man. Wait. Do you remember Ingaji? Remember. You fought with him in the jungle. Fought for the beautiful she. He conquered. How you hated him. Uh, he was mighty. And he was different from the others. When the others swept through the trees, that other one ran swift as the wind on the ground. Remember. Remember. Uh, you fought. You died. That other one who was different stood triumphant in the clearing, his neck half bitten through, victorious. He who would one day be a man. Man. Your conqueror then. Your captor now. Hate. Hate man. Where is your strength, O Ingaji? That this same other one conquers you again, as he did a thousand million moons ago. I am strong. I am Ingaji. Yet, the weak one wins. Kia. 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 Come in, man. Come in. Oh, good evening, Professor. Oh, I thought it was me. Gosh. Well, 
That's exactly why I'm here, Professor. Getting to be a habit around here. There's a knocking. It must be that feverish fool ran. Oh, come now. We want you here. Well, there's such a thing as wearing out your welcome. You paid a thousand times by bringing us back that magnificent gorilla. I don't consider that adequate compensation. Professor, I might as well tell you. I'm sorry I ever blundered over the booth. He was getting you again. Go to bed and take No, no, no. I'm afraid of him, Gadgie. Not in the physical sense. I could cope with his power, his force. But he's changed. I can't cope with... with what he's become. It infuriates and humiliates me that... that gorilla has something on me. Has me at some disadvantage that I don't understand. It's gotten under my skin. You remember when he struck at me three weeks ago? Do I remember? Of course I do. He changed after that. When he looks at me now, he isn't puzzled. He isn't searching his memory for some clue to me anymore. He knows. He knows who I am and what I mean to him. Whatever it is, he hits me. Hates me with a dreadful, consuming energy. I don't question that, Rand. It's plain enough. He never had those tempers. Now something is tormenting him into a frenzy of hatred and defiance. Something in that secret brain of his. You'd better calm him down before he dashes out that secret brain of his. Come on, Rand. We'll talk later. seen such hatred. And such tremendous living power. Yes. You've got to admire it at first. You almost think for a moment that he represents the super race. That big, black-haired, purebred gorillas are the dominating people. And on the basis of sheer power with a certain amount of intelligence and ruthlessness, you think he ought to rule. <laughs> and you stop to think. You remember. Yes, he's pure black gorilla and powerful. But after all, he's just a gorilla. Oh, I, I thought I heard him judge you studying him here. Well, you did. Your precious beast was being attentive. He catch cold running about barefooted like that, and that wouldn't do. Because Ngaji might catch it from you, and that would be the end of Ngaji. On second thought... Perhaps you'd better run around there for this. But, Bob, he's worth a fortune. Well, so are you. Now run along back to bed. Professor Converse and I have a chess game to play. Eh, hey, Professor? And Daddy. And Daddy. Uh, Hi, old uh, fella. I brought you banana. Here. No. No, I haven't got any more. Uh, what? Oh, my hand. Which one? This? Oh, the last. Joe, sure, pal, take it easy, though. It's great. That's a good boy. Uh, oh, no. Come on, Daddy. Give me back the rings. Come on. Hand over the jewels. Oh, pick them up, Ngaji. Ngaji. All right. Get them myself. But you won't hear the end of it. I'll show you. I've eaten your last banana for a month, and don't you forget it. Uh, Ngazi, what's the matter? Uh, what oh, don't you know me? Ngazi, uh, stay back! Stay back! Ah! Your move, Professor. Ah! It's cut. It's fruit. There's a light in the wing. Look. It's fruit. It's fruit. fruit. Wait a minute, Rand. Look here. Take my revolver. I'll come along. Come on, Ryan, stay here. Call for help. I can't hold him with just a revolver. Hurry! Bob! Bob, help me, Bob! Help me! Ruth! What happened? Are you hurt? That's my ass. I had a lot of cages. He's over the door. I can just get in here and throw the door before he realized he was free. And you 
Look, darling. No, no. I, I ran to the door, but I hit my foot. And I, I can't stand, Bob. Get your arm around my shoulder. Hurry. Break it through. I let him escape. I let him escape. Now, darling, hold tight. But you're in yourself. You can't carry me too far. Hop along one foot. Oh. 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 Come on, now. All right, darling, quick. The next room. Oh. 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 Quick, in here. Oh. Now, the next room. We've got to hold him up. Blow him up. Come on, Rose. Courage, darling. Courage. I can't. I'm holding you back. Or leave me. Leave me with a gun. I can steal. Please. Please. No. In here. Oh. I'll try it. I got him. Quick now before he recovers. Rob. Bob, you can't go on with me. Just one no. more door. The oh. last door. All right. Yes, I got him. Keep moving. Try to help us, Sam. Can you? I'm trying. I'm trying. A little further. Just a little further. Here. Ah. Oh, Bob. Cross the mountain. Oh. Lock. From outside, it's automatic. Bob, but, but the professor. I don't know. He's gone for help. Oh. Oh. Steady, girl. Steady. Steady. Uh. Oh, the lights have hit the fuse box. Be sure the lights. Listen. I'll be shot, Mother. Please. He's dead. Quiet. Uh, oh. Uh, no. He's alive. Uh, He's stalking uh, us in the dark. Uh, How many bullets? Uh, Three. Bob. Uh, one more thing, God, Jim. It, it don't kill him. Quiet. This way. Keep moving. He was only imaginary, so don't let him worry you. No, you're right, Raymond. Especially when real things can be so much more troublesome. Well, friends, it's um, time to close that squeaking door to the inner sanctum until the same time next week. 
Invite all your friends to be here with you. It'll uh, give you courage. <laughs> the safety in numbers. Well, good night. Pleasant dreams, huh? This is the National Broadcasting Company.